This project is called Action Transcription. The idea is to give people a tool that lets them build a ongoing repository and archive of the captions of dip videos from different social media sites, including those cam captions translated into English. So we'll do a very quick demo. Um, here is a YouTube video that is in Russian um, and actually does have YouTube generated captions. So the way you use this tool is you file GitHub issues. I can paste the URL in here, I can tell it that I'd like to extract the captions, click the button, and that's it. That's the entire user interface for end users. So having done this, what my tool is doing is it's spinning up a GitHub Actions task. So this right here triggers when a new issue is created, it installs various bits of software, it uses the YouTube DL um, command line tool to pull back the captions from that video, and then it saves those captions back into the repository. The user doesn't need to know this is happening though. They're just sitting here and about 30 seconds after they initially file that issue, the action will do its work and it'll reply to this issue with comments that will give them the data they want. So this is some logging data. And then here is the English translation from, from the YouTube automated translations of that video. Um, so that gets replied here. It also gets saved into the repository itself. So we've now got a permanent record of that, which I can then write additional software against to, to analyze that. Um, now that was the demo using YouTube comments. The other thing this can do is if you tag your issue with Whisper, that's the name of an AI model, it can take a video, in this case, this video on VK, entirely in Russian with no English translations at all, and it can run that through an AI which will transcribe the Russian, but will also provide an English translation, an incredibly high quality one. So this, this right here is doing a whole bunch of additional work to turn that video into something that's, um, that's readable and usable. Again, the results of that have been saved in this repository, which means that we can analyze them and build search and things against them later on. To try this thing out, the way you do it is you click use this template to create your own copy of this repository. And that's, um, this is using GitHub template repositories, but anyone who does this gets their own version which will run under their own GitHub account and will allow them to once again start filing issues to start capturing things in this new unique database for their own project. So I'm hoping that despite this being built up on top of GitHub, everything is available through the browser. Users who aren't familiar with the command line, don't even know what Git is, will still be able to use this given the right guidance.